Hello, I'm Rob Walker from Walker, Texas Peppers. And I'm in my room instead of being in the backyard. It's too cold out there. I wanted to get this done today. And this right here in this little magic box is Uncle Bull Cow's Level 2 Hot Fudge. Now I've been saving it because I know it's going to be hot. First time I've opened it. Nice tidy little package. And it's one big chunk. Look at this. Maybe it's two together. I think it might be. Let me unwrap it. Now bear with me. No, it's a big one. Big old piece of fudge. Scope that thing out, y'all. Man, I couldn't get the lighting good in here. I got the lamp. Good thing I had this tripod here. Let's see. You can really see that. Level 2 fudge. I think it's supposed to be like salted caramel. And all them good old, good old things. It's a powder. He puts a pepper powder in it and his Omega tincture. Hmm. There it comes. Oh boy. I got my TV behind me, so. Oh boy. Mm. Instantly, you get real good sweetness, the salty sweetness, and then you feel a little bit of powder. You feel pepper, you can kind of have that little faint, ooh, got me salivating. A little, uh, yeah, taste that pepper, pepper powder coming up on you, kind of creeping up. I don't want this thing melting in my hand. I should have got something. Mm. Mm. There's the hiccups. Mm. Yeah, boy. I had to make sure I got it off my fingers. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh, wee. Mmm. Mmm. Boy. Got, got me sweating in here. Trying to get them where I can talk. It's some hot fudge, y'all. Ooh wee! Give me the hiccups, man. It's sweet. Look at that powder. You can taste the powder. I I've never tasted tincture, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference. Ooh wee! Yeah, that's some hot fudge. Whew. I don't know if bandana was a good thing. His hair got all jacked up from wearing the headphones playing Call of Duty earlier. Whew. Yeah. Hey. Level two. Man. I don't think I want... I don't think I want to see what level three and four or five is. Oh man. Oh 
Lord. Man. That's hotter than the one chip challenge. I, I'll tell you that. Ain't no doubt. Man, I'm no Superman, y'all. I got my tea. Oh, man, y'all playing with some fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the hottest piece of fudge I've ever messed with in my whole entire life. Man, I'm on fire, y'all. Oh, boy. I knew it was going to be hot. Uncle Bullcow said it was going to be hot. I know he wasn't playing. I didn't bring enough tea in here. Oh man, that dude knows how to make it hot, y'all. Man. This right here is like Reaper and above, bro. Man. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, I want to thank y'all. Thank y'all for the intro y'all sent me. I really appreciate it. All the love, man. Y'all are great. Bull Cows. Check out Uncle Bull Cows' channel on YouTube. Check out his website, UncleBullCow.com, where he has a bunch of wonderful merchandise. Oh boy. I'm wrecked, man. Uh, make some good sauces, man. We did the, we reviewed the mean green and the monster mash. Oh boy. Got me sweating. Nose running. I'm out of tea. Oh Lord, man, that's some hot stuff, y'all. <laughs> Uncle Bullcow, man, y'all are great. Man, I appreciate you letting me review this stuff. This super hot stuff. I never mess with nothing like this. Except for that hot chip challenge. Uh, I'm not about challenges, y'all. I'll review peppers and I'll review the sauces that I make. I am wrecked, man. That's some hot ass fudge. I'm sorry. Ah. Woo! Ah. Yeah. Man. To be honest, I hope I don't get cap cramps again. Got them yesterday off from that powder. I did way too much powder on them crackers. Should have done one lightly, lightly dusted. <sighs> Doing two heavily dusted the way I did. <sighs> I was laid up on that couch, y'all. I was laid up, boy. I was, oh man! If I had banana and milk, I would have been. I was already freaking out. I was already. I felt so bloated. I'm fighting this. I'm fighting this one, y'all. Yeah, that's a good burn. I'm finally starting to come down. So finally getting. I didn't have no ear thing or nothing like that. But the heat is finally starting to subside. So I know. Hoping them endorphins kick in, man. For real, some relief. Cause I got like a burn that's going all over my tongue. Not really on the top of my mouth. 
it's just dancing all over my tongue. Uh, a little bit on, around the bottom of my lower lip. Yeah, I can feel it right there. Uh, yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it right there. My tea. Yeah, I remind myself. Yo, Rob. You're out of tea, dude. Man. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be all right. I make hot, one of the hottest ghost peppers in the world. I guarantee you, our ghost peppers are hot. I make Carolina Reaper, hottest pepper in the world. Our Reapers were hot too. They're down here in Texas, and they're good flavor. They are fruity. I swear to God. Well, I swear. Uh, you eat a pepper, and a lot of times you'd get this uh, real super hot taste and just burn. But I would get a slight fruitiness and sweetness before the right in the mouth, right in the kisser. Uh. Thank you, Uncle Bull Cow. Uh, Chris. Uh. Chris and Chastity, I really thank y'all. Love y'all, man. Appreciate the intro. That is the most awesome intro. I couldn't have done it better myself. When I get done with this video, I gotta figure out how to put it, put it together, and then we'll upload it. <laughs> oh man, that's some serious heat, y'all. Some serious heat, man. That's the hottest. That's the hottest damn fudge I ever had. Woo! I thought I doctored up some fudge I made this Christmas. I put a little bit of my my uh, ghost pepper powder. No, it was actually the pe ghost pepper powder I got from Jimmy Pickles. I put some of that on there. Whew. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm burning up, y'all. Uh, y'all see this once. I don't know if I'm going to do a fudge like this again, you know. I already know what I'm in for now. I didn't, I knew. I was like, man, I, I kind of stalling. Got cap cramps, but I didn't do it on purpose yesterday. But uh, yeah, I knew, I knew this was gonna be way hotter than both them sauces, and it is, it is. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't get none on my, no chocolate on my hand from under my face, man. Like if I'm jacking with powders, I always get it on my face, always, man. I don't know. I got the worst luck. I do a powder review and I think everything's fine. Put it on a cracker. Somehow or another, later, I'll touch my face or I'll sweat and something. Next thing I know, oh man, powder's got me again. <laughs> hey, but this time, this time, man, that's fudge from Uncle Bull Cow. Yeah, man. They're up in Carolinas, I believe. Uh, is it South Carolina? I believe it is. I'm not sure. It might be North Carolina. Man, I'm bad. You fit them both in Texas. That's what I can tell you that. I can tell you that right there. You can fit both them states into Texas. So it's like driving a few counties to get out. <laughs> Go from one Carolina to the other, I bet. I don't know. I've never been up there, you know. I've been to New Mexico, Arizona, Oklahoma. Arkansas, all around, you know, all around Texas. But anyways, y'all, man, that was great. That was some good fudge. It was sweet. It was nice and sweet. And then the heat kicked up. Super strong heat. But I could taste it. It was like powder. I could taste it like a pepper. It was like, the more I bit again, then I could taste all of a sudden that pepper flavor started coming. And with that pepper flavor, the heat, the heat just started coming, you know. Once uh, it like just got on my tongue, started dancing around, super hot. It was right there. I, man, that scorpion yesterday, the scorpion powder. That scorpion powder yesterday, that's what I, uh, the only thing I can compare it to. I never messed with no scorpion except for the hot chip and uh, the, the one chip challenge from uh, 2020. Yeah. That's a, that was, 
that was a good hot chip. I never messed with super hots before or anything like that. I was on empty stomach. Let's be, I'm coming up with excuses. I was drinking coffee, empty stomach with coffee in my belly, and that chip come down right down and sat right there for two days, it felt like. That burn just sat there, right there, man. It's like it went straight and just is hanging out. <laughs> this ain't doing that. This it went it went down fine, tasted good. It's just hot. It's like our sauce. It's just hot. Uh, I really thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, let me review this. And nice enough to send us the Chris and Chastity Panalonis and Uncle Bull Cow and Mrs. Bull Cow. Man, y'all great people, man. I really appreciate all the help. Y'all helping with Walker, Texas Peppers. And, uh, man, you got me in your pepper groups on Facebook. I love it. I get to see see about the pepper community. You know, uh, I appreciate all the help we've got for our YouTube channel. From friends, family, uh, those who've liked and subscribed, the viewers that's been watching Walker, Texas Pepper. We're going to come... I got more reviews from Jimmy Pickles. He sent me sending me some more powders to review. So I will have more to do while this between seasons slowness of the pepper patch is going. And, uh, and I really appreciate the opportunity. I want to thank Garden State Gardener for uh, showcasing our channel on Sunday fun night last Sunday and getting us up to 100 uh, subscribers. That's so awesome. I really appreciate you. Man, all the stuff you do, uh, I was so pleasantly surprised, and I started recognizing names. I go, oh, man, I know who done this. I know who done this. It was Joe and Garden State Gardener, man. I really appreciate you, brother. And, uh, you know, friends, family, like I said again, all you guys, all you guys that's been watching, tuning in, we're going to turn this little pepper patch into a big grow. We're going to be selling peppers and, and sauces next season. And uh, I want to thank my sister for sharing sharing the channel to a big site. And we got a bunch of views on like like uh, four video, three of my videos and like one of Uncle Bull Cow's videos. Uh, them reviewing our sauce. And uh, I want to say also, uh, Uncle Bull Cow... Thank you for reviewing my peppers and well, my brother's peppers and my sauce. That's a, that's a better way to put it. My brother does the growing and I make the sauce and I do the networking and, and the YouTube and everything. Let me get my hands out of the camera. Uh, I'm better outside, man. There's a big old echo in here, I think, in my room. It's like I'm talking to myself and looking in the mirror. It's kind of a little bit different from what I'm used to, y'all. I'm better outside, I think. Uh, man, that fudge was awesome, y'all. I really appreciate it. I really do. It, it blew my mind. Uh, you, you told me I was going to be able to handle it. I handled it, but I had to get a drink, man. There's no way. I'm not no. I'm not like y'all. Y'all are almost superheroes, man. Y'all eating some stuff. I'm just a beginner, man. I'm a newbie. I'm, I'm still green, man. So, uh... I'm not going to try to push myself too, too much. I'm going to, I've got to get ready. I'm going to review every pepper that we grow. Every pepper, and we're growing a lot of super hot. So i got to prepare. i got to get my tolerance up. My tolerance is up. Otherwise, I would have, through the ceiling, I would have been blasted off looking like Cheech and Chong on Up in Smoke going to the moon, you know. No, his next movie, I think, yeah. But, uh. Man, oh man, that was that was good fudge. It was hot, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, it had me it had me thinking, had me double thinking in my head while I'm sitting here talking to my camera on this tripod. Had me sitting here thinking, uh oh, you done messed up again. No, nah, no, nah, it was fun, y'all. And uh, I, I thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody that's tuning in. Like and subscribe, hit the bell if you want. Get a notification when when uh, Walker Texas Pepper is going to come up with another video, and it'll more likely be a review. We're trying to get a room ready to do some growing in. Uh, we're cleaning out 
a certain area indoors and we're going to get the grow lights and the grow grow pad the heat pads and all that set up we're going to try to get it going at least in the next week week or two uh you know we'll see Whew. i finally calmed down man that was that was a ride y'all this is a 20 minute video i didn't expect it to go this long but i wanted y'all to see that i uh, I I was here for the for the uh for the complete burn. <laughs> Y'all were here for the complete burn. Hey, thanks for watching. I wanted to thank say thank you again to the Uncle Bull Cow, Ms. Bull Cow. Y'all will check out his channel, man. His channel's great stuff. They do hot reviews. He makes wonderful sauce and man, they're the greatest. Check out their channel. The Bull Cow, Uncle Bull Cow. Check out his website, UncleBullCow.com. He sells merchandise. T-shirts, caps, everything. I believe caps, everything. Uh, I know he has shirts. And uh, Facebook. You hit him up on Facebook. Uh, Uncle Bull Cow on Facebook. Uncle Bull Cow's Hot Sauce Company on Facebook. So you can get a hold of some of them sauces. He's got an awesome box deal going right now. Uh, it's like a over $100 worth of value. Bunch of sauces. The fudge I just ate some other stuff all for like 50 or 60 bucks i believe check them out on facebook chris Pantalone and uh uncle bull cow hot sauce company man y'all stay tuned big stuff coming this year we're gonna try to show every bit every, every bit that we do you know getting these plants going we're gonna have at least well over 70 varieties over two over 200 some plants at least 250 plants this season so we're going to have a lot to show you and i'm going to have a lot of peppers to review and then i'm going to be trying to decide on a new trifecta three peppers together to make some bunch of great sauces with this year this season the trifecta was the orange habanero the reaper and the ghost pepper and i made some great sauces with them and i know how to and we're still going to continue that but I like doing a three pepper combination that way. It attacks different parts of your mouth and the different flavor profiles. But we'll get more into that. I've already run way, way over on this thing. And I still got a piece together this intro, this wonderful intro that uh, Uncle Bull Cow and them hooked me up with. And I want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And uh, just keep watching Walker Texas Peppers and follow us from the small pepper patch to a big grow. And we'll hopefully be selling peppers and sauces to everybody real, real soon. Thanks for watching, y'all.